take a lot of tasks and if they're going to be able to sign, if, if they're going to be able to even uh, meet uh, the, the buyer of the, sort of the notary's office. A lot of uncertainty around how COVID-19 measures will impact the real estate industry and market. One thing is for sure, brokers have been forced to change their selling strategies. We stop all visits, absolutely no visits at all. We start to do virtual uh, visits. Uh, obviously, uh, uh, FaceTime videos. A big change from the work Montreal real estate broker Marco Lopez was doing not too long ago. Not even a, a month ago, we had multiple offers all over the place, uh, open, open houses with 30, 40 people. In February, house sales were up 27% nationally compared to February 2019. 680 News senior business editor Mike Eppel says Montreal was a record red-hot market for a while. It was on the rise, had seen consistent strength, mortgage rates were coming down, demand was still strong. All of this, though, of course, uh, before this cataclysmic event that is going to send a shockwave through the Canadian economy. Apple says we'll feel the effect shortly as people across the country end up out of work with the shutdown of non-essential businesses. As people lose their jobs, that takes away a lot of demand within the real estate market. That will have a ripple effect. Well, we hear a lot if uh, uh, the market is going to crash, the real estate market, uh, if the prices are going to go down, uh, if uh, it will be now uh, a buyer's market, uh, obviously, the interest rates are so low, so that gives a red flag to a lot of people. One buyer in the middle of a condo transaction isn't concerned about the market for now, but more so the COVID-19 restrictions on banks and their online services that could potentially delay the sale. Is it going to stop? Is it going to keep on? Am I going to get an answer from the bank on time? Because I have already made an offer and it's already accepted and I have until the 15th May. To a sign. Apple says real estate may not be top of mind for most Canadians, but maybe for some who want to buy low and sell high. There may actually be some distressed properties coming up uh, in the not too distant future, and those uh, those will likely be where we start seeing some investment opportunities arise. Eventually, it's going to pick up, and you, 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 just, you cannot. Uh, you will always have to keep the wheel, so so now we don't stop it at all. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.